Hello everybody. Today's video is to help students and teachers alike in getting started on their project for the 2018 BT Young Scientists and Technology Exhibition. My name is Tony Scott and I've been involved with the Young Scientists Exhibition from the very beginning and I've been judging for most of the last 52 years. So I'm here to give you some insight of what we as judges will be looking for in the 2018 exhibition. After this video we will do a live Q&A question and answer system and any burning questions you have you can uh, participate in this Q&A system by commenting under this video on Facebook or tweeting using the hashtag BTYSTE18. So here we go. We realise that knowing where to start a project is daunting. So our first tip is for teachers. Teachers, you are the enthusiastic facilitators. Encourage your students by supporting them in coming up with their ideas. Brainstorming as a group, set up regular meetings and set aside time to guide and advise the students as best you can. Our exhibition is not only about highly complex and daunting experiments involving white coats and test tubes, although that is one approach to the BTYSTE, it's not the only approach to such projects. One of the best and most simple inventions I've ever seen was done by Richie Osei some years ago on a smokeless fuel stove system for use in underdeveloped countries. So our next tip is to be original and trust your imagination. Students, focus on your idea. What makes you think, how did that happen? Or why did that happen? And what caused that reaction? Start with simple questions and go from there. Teachers, encourage your students to look at their own hobbies, their interests, their passions when coming up with their ideas. And this brings us to our third point. Students, be realistic and use the resources available to you. For example, don't enter a marine biology project if you have no access to water. Ask for help when, with obtaining your resources. Bring your parents and peers in to help you with this. Our fourth tip for a successful entry, know your support network and what information is out there for you. Don't do it alone. Whether you decide to enter as an individual or as a group project, ask for help from those around you. Ask other teachers for their input and any past participants. Remember to use their btyoungscientist.com website for support. It's all there for you. And this leads us on to our next tip, research is key. For all projects, it is important to define how you're going to answer your question. By doing research on your topic, you can see what scientific methods have worked and what haven't. I cannot stress enough how favorably judges look upon projects that show well-documented research. And that is why tip number six is crucial. Keep your project journal up to date. Jot everything down and make it easy to understand. Your project journal will help you stay on top of your project and will make life easier for you and for your teacher. The journey is, is as important as the destination. So you have your project idea, you've done your research, and now you need to choose a category, which is our next point, and it is very important. Think carefully about which category you want to enter your project in. For example, a lot of people enter a behavioural science category, but your project might have a technology element and be more suited to the technology category. So check our website to guide you to the right category. As judges, we want you to think about your idea and see what is the value that you are adding by your work. Our number eight tip, therefore, is know your questions and your objectives. Your concept or project idea does not have to be news, but it must show that it has been enhanced or looked at from another angle. Another important tip, and this is something we as judges feel strongly about, and that is don't repeat past projects. Your project or development needs to be unique or have a unique angle. Take inspiration from past projects, but don't reuse other ideas as your own. We judges do know what has gone beforehand. Remember, this is your time to show off your hard work and ideas. We want you to research your own original ideas and develop your own thoughts on how to develop science or technology. 
And finally, top tip number 10, and which is important to help your project, and that is don't procrastinate. It starts here. Don't procrastinate. Research shows that the most successful projects are usually the ones that students started working on early. So get started today and most importantly, enjoy it. Remember, it starts here. So many of our entrants have gone on to huge success and you could too. The BT Young Scientists and Technology Exhibition is a fantastic platform for you and your school to showcase what a great job they are doing and who knows, you might be coming home in 2018 with one of the 140 prizes that will be awarded at the exhibition. So get working and best of luck to you all.